Free Calling explained with ICS Cool Energy Limited. For the highest free cooling energy savings, ICS Cool Energy recommends the combination of a free cooler working in parallel with a chiller. We will take you through the three stages of free cooling which are dependent upon climate. When the process return water temperature required is equal to or higher than the ambient air temperature, free cooling is not suitable. The system's three-way valve will continue to divert fluid flow through the chiller's evaporator where it leaves as a vapour and enters the compressors to be cooled to the required set point. For mid-season operation, the water is partially cooled by the chiller's compressor and partially by the ambient temperatures. The percentage of free cooling achieved mid-season is dependent on seasonal temperatures although partial free cooling commences when the ambient air temperature is one degree below the process return water temperature. The water is partially cooled through the free cooler, then flows through the chiller's evaporator through to the compressors where the required set point temperatures are achieved. In winter, when outdoor temperatures are low enough, the water is chilled solely by the free cooling coil. This allows the chiller's compressors to stop operating, saving significant amounts of energy. The benefits of free cooling include Extended life expectancy of the chiller Uses cold outside air which is free Reduced operating hours of the compressor. Reduced overall power costs. The free cooler will run automatically when required, saving energy at full and partial loads. Payback for a new system can be as little as 12 months. Reduced chiller life cycle costs. Energy savings of up to 70%.